Now loading. Zero's Game Room. Welcome to Zero's Game Room, where all things gaming takes place. Interviews, discussions, and the latest gaming news. So take a seat, get comfortable, adjust your headset, because it's game time. Here's your host, Zero. Come on in, check yourself in, put your headset on, be like Ompred, who looks so comfortable today. Dude, I am. I'm actually, it's really good to come back, man. Oh, oh. We, got, we got new chairs in the studio. That's true. I, yeah, I, so they're very comfortable. But well, happy you, New you, Year! But happy New Year, I, though. I haven't seen you since the New Year, other than like the last episode, but that last episode we said it wasn't the New Year. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter, because I New Year, New Me. No. New Me. New Year, New You. Oh, yeah. That or is it New Year, <laughs> Old You? Nah. Change. Change There's is going to change- happen in my life. Oh, really? What type of change is coming to your life on parade? Not a lot. Oh. <laughs> well, I be zero. So- <laughs> I be zero. This is Zero's Game Room, and this is where we talk about things, and what we talk about is video games. Mm-hmm. So, being the first year, we are in January. That means we have a whole new year of video game fun. Uh, and just in the month of January, we're getting quite a couple of games. Mm-hmm. One that I'm personally excited for is Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser's Jr.'s Journey. I don't know. Did you ever play any of the Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga games? Uh, I have. I played the ones where they go time travel. Partners in Time? Yeah. I, I, I haven't beaten it because I think as a kid I was like, man, this is kind of stupid. <laughs> not, not because it wasn't right. fun, but it was like, man, this is kind of a little hard. I was like, yeah, I don't like it. They're actually really fun. Uh, this one is just a remake of the third one, which was Bowser's Inside Story. Oh. So that's coming out January 11th. Mm-hmm. But more interesting uh, are the next three games that we're going to talk about real quick is The Walking Dead, the final season, episode three. You guys might remember about, what was it, a couple months ago we heard that Telltale Games. Yeah, it was like October something. Right yeah, there. yeah, they were going to be closing their doors. They were done. And everybody was left thinking... What about The Walking Dead? What happened to Clemmy Clue? Like, what mm-hmm. are we going to do without her? Like, this is her story. What do we do? Uh, well, luckily enough, it has seemed that there is a deal reached between Telltale Games and Skybound Games, and they're going to be releasing the last couple episodes, which I think is like two or three episodes left of The Walking Dead when it comes to Clem's story. So that's definitely going to be something that I'm probably going to be on the lookout for because I've been following this series because the original one came out like years ago. It, mm-hmm. This game's pace is as good or not as good. It's it's consistent with the pace that is the Walking Dead series. Yes. Like yeah. it takes forever for episodes to come out. And I remember like the first the first uh, episode came out on like the Xbox 360 and yeah. it wasn't until like maybe the end of the 360 life. It was like, oh, hey, here's here's episode two. And I was like, Wow. I'm still not gonna play this, but yeah. it was still like a long time. I was like, man, this is kind of, woo! It's taking a little bit yeah. of a time, right? Yeah, it's taking a while. Um, there are some other games that are gonna be coming out, but uh, Resident Evil Two being one of them, I personally have a connection. Uh, but I do wanna uh, t- take a step back and edit myself because in the top five. I said that Resident Evil 2 was coming out January 25th and Kingdom Hearts 3 was coming out on the 25th. And I messed up. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake comes out 25th of this month, of January 25th of 2019. And Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out on the 29th. So four days later. So I have four days to beat Resident Evil 2 Remake. How could you? You lied to the people. I I don't know my own Resident Evil, apparently. (laughs) How dare you? How dare I? You know what? I don't say this often, but I forgive you, man. Okay, because Kingdom Hearts 2 is coming so out. I'm so happy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it Kingdom Hearts 2 or 3? I feel uh, like you just three. said 2. No, it's 3. It's 3. Okay, it's, it's, a, three. it's a trace. It, it's a trace. <laughs> it's a well, trace. Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out on mm-hmm. January 29th. That's probably the big game I'm more excited about out of all of these games coming out this month. But I am, like I said, I'm happy to see that uh, Skybound Games is going to be finishing this. I am happy that Resident Evil 2 is going to be out because mm-hmm. I love Resident Evil. So please don't let me down on that. But in bigger news, we also got a teaser trailer going around. Persona 5R teaser trailer. What could it mean? Racing. Um, Fred, what are you doing? Look, the, recently you got super hyped over the music game Persona 5, which I thought was pretty stupid. The dancing all night. Stars, yeah, stop. That, that, that was game's stupid. amazing. No, it's, how is it amazing? You, all I you, like it's like games. I love rhythm games too, but it's just like, what? Like, it's just a circle and you're just like, yep. Tap, tap. Have you it's ever- like every generic rhythm game. It's either a big circle where you tap outside the circles, or it's like it's like three little lines and you just have to tap it. I still think it's fine. See, you're the reason why they keep <laughs> making these games, man. So <laughs> if, it, if it comes out with an R, because I saw the trailer with yeah. you. Yeah, we saw and the it's, trailer. It's like a big open city, so maybe they're saying, hey, it's R. Maybe, that, maybe that's the secret. It's 
Well, they're in the Shibuya thing. because the game takes place in Shibuya. You would know that if you played Persona 5. Shibuya know what's going to be racing. <laughs> you know what's going to be racing. It's but sh- but if that's not the big thing, I think it's going to be a remastered or a remake. I yeah. guess. See, the problem I have with everybody saying, like, oh, it's going to be a remake or a remaster. Yeah. This game came out on the PS3 and the PS4. Why are you going to remake it? Now, granted, I we, we do want to... Say, clear, clarify, this was a teaser trailer. It's 30 seconds long, and it's it's a teaser trailer. Like It's basically announcing that in March we're going to get the new news. So in March, expect to hear more about it, but mm-hmm. a remaster? Why would you remaster a game that's already on the PS4? Because, man, you know, you have a PS4. I mean, people like to play the PS4. You like to play on the PS4, but when you people like me who like to play on better consoles, on oh, better things, we like to play on the PC, gosh. the Switch, or even the Xbox, man. You got to give us some whoa, love. Whoa, whoa. You're going to tell me that the Nintendo Switch has more power than a PS4? Look, man, if, if we get Persona 5 Potato Edition like we did with the fan, Final Fantasy one. <laughs> no, not Pocket, Pocket Edition, Edition. which is the stupidest thing. I don't know why they did that. But if <laughs> we do. Because there was a lot of hype. Because it's kind of like what happened. Because with when with uh, with Persona 5, it was originally yeah. come out. It was supposed to come out in 2014. Then it didn't happen. Then 2015. Then 2016. Uh, which we, when we finally got it, um, I think it, we had heard announcements in 2013, 14. Yeah. So yeah. it took us a long time to get Persona 5. Kind of the same thing happened with Final Fantasy 15. We were supposed to get it in like 2012, 2013, and it didn't happen. So if they make Persona 5 Pocket Edition. You better bet your sweet ass I'm going to pay for it. Yeah, I know. You're going to be like, oh, my God, it's the most amazing thing. It's better than <laughs> – it's almost as good as the rhythm game. And then I'm like, wow. Okay. Well. You played the whole company. You played the whole industry, man. It's, it's people just, it's like really you. good. I, I, I am willing to go as far and say that – I don't know if I'd call it a remaster or a remake or what, mm. but they're porting it to the Switch. I, there's a lot of people that are like, no, they wouldn't do that. And I get it because they didn't do that exactly when they brought in new characters to the Switch. Yeah. But, I mean, with Smash and everything, I still think it's a possibility. I think it's a little too little too late, but it's still a possibility. If you're a fan who has always wanted to get into Persona, now would be your time if it ends up on the Switch. But uh, Like, even with uh, Sakura, like, he says it's just announced and it's going to take that time. So maybe in March... When Sakurai has something to give up for Smash Brothers, like, hey, here's the new Persona 5 Joker. They're like, oh, hey, here's a good time. I think maybe it's a build up. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like I said, we do have to wait until March when we get more uh, news on that. But mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I want it to be great because I love Persona, but I, I, I don't think they're racing. Can you imagine just those guys in, like, just. No, what, this isn't Mario Kart. This ain't Diddy Kong Racing. But you're hyped for um, Crash Bandicoot Racing. Okay, that's a remake of a PS1 game that I grew up with. That is completely different from Persona 5. You grew up with Persona 5. I grew up with Persona. You know, you have a Persona, and I'm so tired. Oh, my gosh. On Pred, in 2019, his goal is to be a Devo. A Devo. Devo. We we had a talk Uh, with uh, with a mutual friend of ours, and she said it's pronounced Devo. Devo. Yeah, I can't be a diva because, you know, Overwatch already has that, so i got to be a diva. <laughs> is there is there a character named diva in Overwatch? Yes! I don't it's, play it's Overwatch, you know this. I know. I just make the memes and follow the memes you to annoy the you. make the I make the memes to annoy you like I'm already Tracer, and then you get triggered and, hey. you know. I'm already Winston. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh no, was there more you wanted to add to this? Well, again, um, for the Sakurai hype, I think... We said before, if they do announce more in March, I think it might also be announced soon that the Nintendo Direct is going to come out. Oh, that's actually a good segue. That's Mm -hmm. actually a good segue. Yeah, you're right. Go on. Um, I believe from what sources say from Reddit, quote unquote, uh, they're 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 kind of wrong, but it says it's going to be announced uh, January 10th, so maybe a day after this is being uploaded. Okay, that's about right, because this this episode is going to go up on the 9th, so we might be hearing more. Of course... If you want to keep up with what we know, feel free to follow us on Twitter at Zero's Game Room on Twitter at Zero's Gaming Room on Facebook. Everywhere else, it's at Zero's Game Room, like on YouTube, on Podomatic, and our new site that we're going to be moving to, Podbean. It's mm-hmm. Zero's Game Room. The only one that's Zero's Gaming Room is on Facebook because somebody already owned the domain of Zero's Game Room. What a jerk. Little... But nonetheless, go on what you were saying. That we're supposed to get a Nintendo Direct around when? Around January 10th. Um, hopefully it happens. If not, um, I think that's when we can new, get new information about the Animal Crossing. If that's going to come out soon. I about, want that so bad. You know what? I never got into it. Uh, I know it, we talked about it before, but uh, I'm not really interested in Animal Crossing. But I know everybody likes it, and I know I can't wait for it so everybody can make more memes about it. 
Um, Are there really memes about that? Like, do you see memes of Animal Crossing? Like, hey, man, you know, I pay off my debt. I did this, I did that all when I was 20, but then I got real life. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's the dreams yeah, of, you yeah, know, no. Animal Crossing. It's a lot then. easier to pay off your debt in Animal Crossing, even though you owe, like, 100,000 bells because it's called bells. That's their currency. Oh, okay. you, you can pay it off a lot easier, and there's no interest rate and stuff like that, and you're not depressed, and you make a lot more <laughs> money by selling fish that you cash out in the sea or bugs that you catch or donate to a museum. Yeah, okay, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah everybody wants to be your friend, you <laughs> know, college debt. You know, it's, it's just great, <laughs> man. It's great. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> a lot of people actually, on a more serious note, people actually use it more of uh, Animal Crossing as an escape that people can like enjoy. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I'm excited for it. But no, yeah. you're right. I think what people are saying is because around last year, you know, it is the new year. Around last year, around like end of January, mid January, we had a Nintendo Direct and we got to see a lot of things that were coming out for that year. And I think you're right. I think. I don't know if the people on Reddit know something that we don't, but they might be wrong. Man, Who, might be wrong. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But I would like to see a Nintendo Direct because yeah. there's a lot of games that I want to hear about. I want to hear more about Metroid Prime 4. Mm -hmm. All they gave us was the little... The JPEG, yeah. The JPEG <laughs> logo. And I'm like, all right, wow. when's that coming? And that was like two years ago, right? No, it was last year, I think. It was last year. It was like the beginning of last year. Oh, okay. That's which what, is around the time yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that we're talking about. I think it was in March when that Direct came out. And everyone was like, wow. Now I'm still waiting. Still waiting. New Nintendo New Year. New here's, here's, I feel like you're doing the meme review. Meme review. New Nintendo. <laughs> who this? <laughs> who this? Nintendo, we out here. I want to hear more about Fire Emblem Three Houses. I want to hear what the Switch has because I have a Switch now. And all I of a sudden, well, all of a sudden you're interested now, huh? No, I've been interested. Don't get, get me with that crap. I was very interested, even though I got Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, and I still haven't played it. Yeah, yeah why haven't you played it, huh? Because it's the it's the it was the game of the year. I know, and, and everybody's like, "But you love Legend of Zelda." Yeah. I do. It's because Kingdom Hearts Three is coming out, and like, um, my expectations are like really high for it. And like, I know if I get sucked into Kingdom Hearts Three, I don't want to neglect some Legend of Zelda. And then there's the other side. It's like, play it in portable mode, but I want to play Zelda on the big screen. <laughs> You know, I thought I was a Devo, but you know oh, what? You're such a Devo. Wow. I actually have the Switch and Zelda in my backpack right now, so I can, can play. play. I mean, I already beat your butt in Smash plenty of times already, <laughs> which is true, because I actually did beat you, which I'm pretty stoked about. But anyway, she yeah. beat me I, once out of life. Like three times. Oh, my Don't, don't trick the people. Okay. Don't you say to me, no. Mm hmm Anywho, as I was saying, the mm -hmm. reason... I'm excited because Kingdom Hearts 3 is a thing that's coming out on the 29th. My expectations are high. I stopped watching the trailers like months ago because the whole game was being revealed. But I want to <laughs> see the culmination of everything. I think this is the last Kingdom Hearts. It's where everything has built up. Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, which came out in 2005. We had the DS games. We had Coded. We had 358 over two days. We had the 3DS <laughs> Dream Drop Distance. Mm. We had the PSP. We had the mobile game. We have all of these Kingdom Hearts things. And it's time now to finally just meet at the end. We, we're getting the Keyblade Masters. We're getting everybody. And it's time to face Ansem and stop the Keyblade War from happening. What about a fourth one? Why would that exist? Well, there's money. <laughs> Cause I mean, no. well, I mean, stop rocking uh, the boat. The third no, is the I'm, last one. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, there's so much money to be made, and everybody, Kingdom Hearts has the the most dedicated fan base, yeah, and do. of course they're gonna milk that. So, I they've mean, they've been I, milking it for years. Well, <laughs> it's still a good cow to milk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like they've been milking it. Yet I'm still at at the pre-order release date and like, getting everything. Give me more. Give me more. I want more. I mean, that's gonna be interesting, though. I mean, I've. I mean, to be honest with everybody, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts. I think the last one I played was like two, and I only played it for like maybe a good hour or two, and then so I got you, lost. And I was so like, eh. you only did the prequel because, like, well, not the prequel, because a lot of people get. I know exactly like, why I don't like it. Because, <laughs> there's like, like there's a prequel, a sequel, and well, no, so much. because with Kingdom Hearts two, like the first two and a half hours is just like story, and there's not a lot of like yeah. Kingdom Heartsness. So a lot of people hate that, but I still love it. <laughs> I was like, wow, wow this is kind why, of, this why is kind of going... boring. Why does everybody like yeah, this game? Yeah, I know, because you're running around on a skateboard and you do points and jumps. Yeah! And I just, was like, oh. like, this is Kingdom Hearts? I was like, man, this is uh, Kingdom Expectations. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really a fan of this game. <laughs> These games are great, though, and they've all been building up to one grand finale, which I really do hope and think is Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, I mean, like I said before with you in the previous podcast, um, when I had the time to play it at Anime Expo, even though, again... 
I have no experience with Kingdom Hearts besides that two hours yeah, the when, I, when I was a kid. Yeah. Like, it, it felt like a really good game, and, you know, the animations are great, you know, with the story blocks and the animation styles with how... Um, Sora, right? Yeah. Yeah, Sora. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that, wow. Oh, wow. You know so much. Yes, and, it's Sora. Yeah, like, I like how Sora with the different, um. Keyblades and motions. Yeah, like yeah. the different motions and, like, the, the, uh, the different art styles, like so the Legos and all right that You're stuff. You're making me sadder and sadder. It looks so great, man. You should have been there. You, sh- you should have been there, man. You're, you... Well, we're trying to do that in 2019. We're going to try to go to more expos and whatnot. That way we can get interviews and whatnot. I want to get an interview with Sora. I think that was our expectations. The voice actor who does Sora? No, the. The character in the game. You, you're going to jump into the game yes. and get an interview from this yes. guy. Yes. How is that going to happen? I don't know, man. I'm the diva. I'll figure it out. You're the Devo. The Devo. The Devo. <laughs> Devo. And the last thing we should probably touch on is Super Smash Bros. Because everybody loves Super Smash Bros. Yeah. I'm still playing it to this point. Just recently, on the New Year's on New Year's Day, like the first, after you know having a fun New Year's Eve, uh, my friends and I got together a group of like five or six. Of, it was six of us, and I you learn. I learned something. There's people who casually play Smash, which is I thought I was super casual. Yeah. And then you find people where they take you on three on one and you still come out on top somehow. Yeah. I think I'm a little better than I gave myself credit. I, I'm not going to put myself up against like the real, the, the Smash Bros. Yeah, zero. when you're going to Evo, dude. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> yeah, know. Dude. Yeah, no, I'm going to be great. But yeah. I'm still playing it. Are you still playing it? No. Are you really not? I'm really not playing it. I Why not? I, I think after just trying to grind for the spirits and then once I already got the um, all the. Spirit of Light done, or the World of Light done? Well, I got the first, yeah, when I, once I got the first one done, and, like, knowing how there's so much more, and it's just the exact same thing over and over again. I was like, man, this, uh, this kind of sucks. I, I still don't think it's the same thing. Well, I mean, to an extent it is, but Smash what? Bros. is a game that, and this is, I really do believe this, that Smash Bros. is a game you have to play with other people to have a really good time. Yeah. The, the single-player campaign, if you can call it that, mm-hmm. Is entertaining at most, but I wouldn't pu- call it the experience because that night where I went over to my friends and we had a group of six and we had four controllers because they mm-hmm. were playing with like the Joy Cons and like even the two Joy Cons put yeah. together. And I brought over my adapter and I'm playing with the GameCube and they're like, "What? What? Well, you can do that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah stupid. <laughs> Duh, doesn't everybody?" And they're yeah. like, "No." And just it's one of those things where like it, it's definitely a game that I feel like won't get tiresome when you're playing it with a group of friends because. I will admit that I was getting a little bit bored of it, but then I played it with friends, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. It's kind of like it's a party game. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Oh, wait a minute. (laughs) Wait a minute. It's a party game. Yeah. It's a good party game. It's a good party game. It's a great party game. It's an amazing party game, especially when you get a good group of friends, but it is very funny when, like, it's a four all-out match and everybody's just going crazy and you're over here. It's hard to implement, like, strat strats, but it's funny when it's just you and another person and then you're just toying with them the entire time. Oh, yeah. They think they're winning and they're like, I'm going to get you, and then you're just like, wham. No. And then you just yell, get off my screen. I yell that Scrub. <laughs> Scrub. Get Scrub. good, Scrub. Get good. No, I would actually have to, like, I would have to put my controller down and be like, you yeah, know, we're, we're good, we're good. Um, mm-hmm. no, I'll, I'll sit this match out. So I, I definitely think Smash is going to last for a long time because it's Smash Brothers. But I think that will wrap up everything for this episode of Zero's Game Room. We talked about Smash. Kingdom Hearts 3 is on the way. Persona 5 R. Oh. I'm going to keep my eye on Racing. <laughs> it's racing. It's not racing. It's racing. It's not racing. We come back a couple months from now. So, Ompred was right. It was racing. It's not racing, though. I'm always right. Okay, now, now, <laughs> now, now I'm just trying to stretch out the podcast. Now you're just trying to stretch out the podcast. Let's yeah. get out of here. I have been Zero. You have been Ompred. The Devo. The Devo. But until next time, don't forget to hit us up on Twitter, Zero's Game Room, Facebook, Zero's Gaming Room. We're on YouTube, Zero's Game Room. Make sure, keep an eye out on Podbean because we. I uploaded all the old episodes on there, and every single episode is going to be up there. So we are going to be moving around February and March. We'll be closing down Podomatic, and we'll be fully over there. So we'll remind you. We'll be posting it on Twitter. Follow us there, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Until next time, the doors to Zero's Game Room today is officially closed. GG with a definite re. Oh, come on. (laughs)